Hey guys, Kevin Davidson here in the Avid Max Studios. I'm here to tie some killer patterns for you that use household items. Uh, these are patterns that will work across the state of Colorado, Northwest, uh, the Rockies. Um, these are both Umpwest signature fly patterns, so you can buy them uh, from Umpwest catalog. So let's get started. So the next fly here we're gonna tie is the Chubby Cubby. And uh, so uh, it's kind of a funny name but uh, the cubby part comes from the cupboard ant. So the cupboard ant is an Upqua signature pattern, one of my signature patterns. I designed this fly uh, 16 years ago. And uh, at the time, I actually didn't realize how, how popular it would become, but it's become obviously a very popular fly pattern. Um, the thing that uh, I hear a lot about, even though it catches a lot of fish, it's hard for people to see. And so um, this year in 2024, uh, we've relaunched this new uh, cupboard ant called the Chubby Cubby, which is uh, a great uh, variation of the cupboard ant with the chubby style wing. And uh, so that's what we're gonna tie right now. Really easy tie, and so let's start. So if you don't know about the cupboard ant, the reason it's called the cupboard ant is because it's made out of this cupboard liner material and uh, living in Estes Park and, and uh, fishing Rocky Mountain National Park, there's a lot of alpine lakes. It's all about ants. And so back when I first found this material, I was in a hardware store and I saw it and I said, man, that's a lot of ants right there. That's like a million ants in a roll. So I started cutting it uh, and trying to figure out how to get it on a hook. And uh, so obviously, I would start cutting it and, and say, well, that looks like a pretty good ant right there. If you tied that right onto a hook, that would work. Uh, but obviously, eventually you get lazy with material. Instead of cutting it, you start to pull it. And uh, when you pull this material apart, lo and behold, antenna pop out. So it becomes this awesome little ant pattern. And uh, so obviously, it's not a new pattern but uh, the chubby cubby is a new way to tie it. And uh, it's more, one of my favorite ways of tying it, having tied almost every variation possible of this fly. Um, the, the hook that I like best is the stubby T. This is a great hook for a lot of reasons. It's, it's light and strong and uh, really hooks well. And it just has a, it's just a great hook. It's the perfect hook for the chubby cubby. If you haven't uh, checked out the stubby T, you should. This is a size 16. And uh, so the thread we're gonna use is uh, Camel Brown, well, it's actually it's called Camel Unithread dot. So I use a real light gauge uh, thread. Start by just um, wrapping back a base all the way back to the back of the hook. Just like that to, the, to where it um, bends and then just come forward a little bit and as I already um, you know showed you if you if you cut these uh, lines of these covered ants and the, or the, the cupboard liner and then pull it apart you get this beautiful uh, silhouette of an ant and so we're gonna start by just putting that we're gonna take three sections off and we're gonna t put two wraps um, around the back uh, section and the middle section and then I like to do a couple wraps uh, just to keep it on the hook better. Just to go around, I go around the, the, the base of that, that, those first two wraps. And then the next step, we're gonna take, this is uh, just crystal flash. I like to add a little bit of flash and a little bit of a rubber leg for movement. Um, this is just uh, uh, medium brown crystal flash. So I just lash that on, just two wraps, that'll hold. And then I like to just trim it a little bit there. And then this um, for the rubber leg, I like to use this um, Sinuous Shaggy Dub. This is called medium brown, but it's also this it's sold as pheasant tail. So if you see pheasant tail or medium brown, they're the same SSD 228, same material. So take one of these uh, sections and then pull it back and then lash it on with two wraps. And then you've got uh, a little bit of a rubber leg and a little bit of flash. So 
Uh, we're gonna go back to some Bonnie Braid. This is one of my favorite colors, it's pottery. Uh, it's a great color for a wing, because um, this, this, this ant could be a caddis, it could be a stonefly, but it's just, a, it's just a great color. So what I like to do is just cut off a section of that Bonnie Braid and uh, pull it apart. And again, it just comes in these rolls. It's braided together. So what I'm cutting is just one, one strand of the, uh, the uh, Bonnie braid out of this uh, braided cord. So I chopped it in half, basically split it in half. I'm gonna do two wraps in the middle, one on each side. And then what I like to do just pull that up. By the way, Bonnie Braid floats really, really well. So it makes a great material for uh, posts. And it already has great color. There's lots of different variations. So all I'm doing here is I'm just building up a little bit of a post. And you can always just straighten your, your fly out there. Pull it back, a couple wraps and then come forward. Uh, so we're gonna do two, two, two sections like that of Bonnie Braid. And then for the middle, I like to use an oversized um, saddle hackle. I like to use anything from, and this is a size 16 hook. I like to use anything between uh, 12 and 14 for the, the hackle, just so it's real, you get a nice, um, wide body on the bottom here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie this uh, saddle hackle right onto the shank of the hook. We're gonna take a little bit of super glue and pop it on there. Now because you're, you're tying on to such a, a, a small, you gotta be a little bit careful not to break the hook, I mean break the feather, but you do about five wraps forward and two or three back, come right back to where your your thread is, and then you're just gonna come over that hackle, pull it out, pull out the end, and that's gonna give you a nice durable um, polymer there. Okay, so there you go, beautiful. And then uh, we're gonna take the other half of the Bonnie Braid pottery that we, we had, uh, and two that we took from the other section and we're going to do two wraps in the middle one on each side and then we're just going to basically create a little bit of a post don't have to make a huge post but i'm kind of coming down there you go just like that beautiful and then we're going to do the same thing that we did on the back we're going to take some of this uh, crystal flash and uh, we're gonna pop it on first. Just do a couple lash wraps to lash it in in front of that post. And then we're gonna take one more piece of this shaggy dug, dub, shaggy dub. And we're gonna pop that in right the same way. Oh, okay. To finish this fly, so what we're gonna do is just use a half hitch tool or a pin or whatever you've got around to just uh, put a few nice wraps behind the eye there and underneath that head. And then we're gonna straighten it out a little bit and then just to, we're gonna trim it. And I like to trim mine at a little bit of an angle, just like that. And then the other thing I like to do is just come under the, uh, come under the, the hook and just trim it so when it sits in the water, it's flat and then also just trim these legs a little bit. And you just get that beautiful silhouette. And so that's the, right there is the chubby cubby. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna see some more videos on fly tying, look up Avid Max on YouTube.